All right, so this is uh, me and uh, Her Acrylic Hercules. Uh, let's Path of Exile. Let's play episode four. And I am Rockwell, and and I'm Hercules. We're ready to go. So I have started off here in the mud flats, so that we can start with our next quest. Which we have to, one, break all of the eggs in the mud flats, and two, find the fetid pool so we can clear it out of all of the dead things that are inside of it, I guess. Alright, so it looks like we're going along the coast and we're finding some undead. These seem to be pretty easy. Yeah. Though in the mud flats there are also a new type of monster called a roa. Nice. Roas are special because when they when they first see you, they start to, they charge at you. And what they mean by charge is they'll run straight at you, and then if they hit you, then they do damage. However, if you evade their charge, they can't switch direction and will instead just uh, stop wherever you were. Ah, so what you're saying is, if you see them charging, run sideways, huh? Yeah. Because they'll, they'll zip right past you. Ooh, one just hit me. We get that scroll? All right. I see one. Sit there. Oh, yeah. There we go, got it. A uh, nice portal scroll, you can have that. Alright. Chest, rawhide gloves. Ooh, there's an exclamation point up here on my map. Aha! So this is where we have to put the egg, the things inside of the eggs. Strange glyph wall. So we can go into the lower submerged passage. Ooh, look at these guys coming out of the ground here. Ooh, a scare mask. Oh, there was. Who is this? Oh, blues. So these blue guys that I can that I, are surrounding me are magical. They are a little bit stronger, and they give you a little bit more experience when you defeat them. Ah, good wool shoes. I've been looking for some of those. Ooh, a medium life flask. I've been looking for one of those. I have two. Medium life flasks. Yeah, yeah, since I used one of the vendor recipes, I sold some of the. Ooh, I see on my map one of the. Oh, a nest. Yeah, which is probably why there were so many roas. Where was here. it? Oh, here it is. Okay. Ooh. There are a lot more rowers around the rower nests. Yeah. But you get the different types of glyphs from these nests. Alright. Got my glyph. Alright, I got it. Uh. Oh man, you took care of that dude fast. Spark does a lot of yeah, damage no to these guys. If someone gets hit by two or more of these projectiles, they're dead. I do cold damage? Okay, I did not know that. I wonder if something you put on adds cold damage. Yeah. Since the guy, he froze, which uh, you get by doing a critical strike on... Uh, right, using some um, cold damage. Yeah. Why can't yep. I pick it up? There we go. Couldn't pick up the item. Ooh, a leather cap. Yellow. Yellow being rare. <sighs> Ooh. Got some in my tail. But I got them. Ooh, and did you level up? Yep, did. Nice. Which is convenient in the in the middle of a battle because when yeah. you level up, 
it refills your all of your life and energy shield. Yeah. And mana too. Uh oh, I found a corrupted zone. Oh, another one. Molten strange sinkhole. They have cold resistance, but it yields more items. So uh, shoot, we got all their glyphs, right? Yeah. All right. So let's uh. Uh, how about we save that for next episode? The Corrupted Zone? Yeah. Alright, so how about if we finish off these monsters these monsters in this area so we can max out on our experience and then uh, take these glyphs back to that glyph wall. And then open up the sub lower submerged passage. Uh, you're, you're talking ahead. You already know what's going to happen. And then we can do that corrupted zone again, because I'm liking corrupted zones. Especially, I mean, we've found a lot so far. I mean, this early in the game. Yeah. I mean, it's not usual to see this many. So far, both of the times we've gone into a map, we've gotten a corrupted zone. That's 100%. Except for the... Uh, Whatever that place is called. The beginning? The Twilight uh, Strand? No, the Tidal Island. That oh. one didn't get one. Oh, I wonder if there's even possible to have a corrupted zone. But, uh, yeah, I don't think it is possible. We haven't found the fetid pool yet, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Did we? It's up at the top. Ah, uh, no, we did. It's We found it. We did? Yeah, it's over here. Right. If you follow that, oh, yeah, this I see. stream's here. It goes up into the fetid pool. Yeah. So there's that. Where are you? Oh, there you are. All right. So where to next? Um. To the uh. So to the, the wall. wall. Yeah. Glyph wall. All right. That's a good idea. I am faster than you. Oh, you're way faster than me when you put on that quicksilver. All right. So now we can yeah. talk to Tarkley for yeah. our reward. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to allocate a passive skill point since I had it waiting for me. All right, so we can talk to Tarkley Just now. Just going to get rid of that quest thing up there. Don't like them filling up my screen. Yeah, the little ex exclamation yeah. points. Yeah, me neither. I like to clear them off the screen too. So back to town. Talk to Tarkley. See what he says, and then. Which next? Uh, Corrupted zone? Uh, yeah. Alright. Go back to town. Since it's only been eight minutes, we could do a little bit more. <sighs> Alright, so. I'm gonna oops. grab shield charge. So, detonate dead, storm call. Firestorm, Cold Snap, Ice Spear, Ethereal Knives, Ice Nova, and Summon Raging Spirit. Hmm. So, Summon Raging Spirit is a, f is a fire. That one's cold. I don't want to do that one. Cold, cold, fire. So probably Storm Call is probably going to be the most useful for this, for this character. All right. Also. So now I can go ahead and take Stormcall and uh, let's put it in my armor, or more rags, as it more is, and then, and then uh, we have done that. So we can go back to the mud flats. Is that where you're going right now? Yep. And so now, also, I have Storm Call, which it sets a marker location, and after a short duration, the lightning strikes the marker, dealing damage around it. Ooh, when this yeah. happens, it will also set up lightning at any other markers you cast. Nice. Meaning that if I have, I could set a marker there, and then lightning would strike there. Nice. So I put on Ondar's class wrapped mitts. 
Um, it might be, I don't know if it's something that you want, it requires level 5, but it gives me 30% increased attack speed when on full life, adds 1 to 13 lightning damage, gave me extra accuracy, and 20% increased movement speed when on low life. Uh, but it only it's 9 evasion and 3 energy shield, which means it's not really something that's going to be great for me for very long. Because mm -hmm. I'm not into evasion and energy shield. I want more armor. Um, but I'm going to use it for a little while. Let me know yeah. if you think it's something that you might want. So then the uh, corrupted area was over here. And if we want to check that, we can press tab, and yep, it is over here. Because yep. tab is the button that opens up the map, which I have already done in this episode. Cool. And so we can enter the Molten Strange Sinkhole. So, you want to do that during this episode? Do you want to create a new episode? Um, well, today's episode, is, or this episode, has only been 10 minutes long, or more, 11 now. Uh, so... I think we should enter it. All right, let's do it. Maybe do a little bit in there, and then we can continue on the uh, strange sinkhole tomorrow. All right. Or next episode, or whatever. Tomorrow, next episode, same difference, right? Dum dum dum. What? It, wow, there's a long passageway with nobody in there. That's. Makes me now nervous. Yeah. yeah. And now there's two different pathways you can go on. Hmm. Go over here or yeah. go over here. I say go the right way. Ha <laughs> ha. Get it? The right <laughs> way. What's going on over here? Oh, there's just two guys chasing you around. All right. But I'm good now. I got him. Ooh, I like your storm call. That's pretty cool. Uh-oh. What's that yellow guy? Oblivion burn. Storm call is actually pretty useful. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Oh, we found the vault area. I found a strong box over the, here. Found the boss area. Want to do yep. the strong box first? Uh, yeah, sure. That should probably be the better idea too. <laughs> so this one's a yellow. So we should uh, ident probably identify it first. Yeah. Then do it. See what it has in store for us. Ooh, There's people walking up on you. There you go. Do, them, do they all explode? I mean, like, so far, like, every oh, yeah. single one I've seen all right. that's yellow has exploded. You ready? I'm about to do it. And it ignites you. Wait! Oh my god, they spawned on top of me. Uh-oh. Where'd you run? Where Back. are you? Towards oh. the vault. Yeah, that's guy. Probably not the perfect place to. Because they spawned on top of me, though. So. Yeah, I know. Woo! Oh. Look at all that stuff. So. Oh, I just leveled up again. Mm -hmm. So this one could be the crab, or it could be the. So you want to grab all those things yeah. that you can. Yeah, and then we can. These Sort are good blacksmith's whetstones and armor scraps are great for upgrading weapons and armor. Since armor scraps, what they do is they uh, increase the quality of armor and blacksmith's whetstones increase the quality of a weapon. That's right. But, however, if the weapon is like rare, it only goes up by 1%. Whereas if it was like normally, it would go up by like 5%. Ah, so it's the mother of the hive again. We had this uh, two episodes ago, the same yeah. boss. And it went pretty yes. much the same way, although you were able to do more direct damage this time, I think, with your I did storm, storm call. call. I did storm call right on top of her, so then, haha, I was able to. 
All right, okay. I'll do the Vol Vessel this time, and Ooh, it's Vol, Vol Reeve. Reeve. So this one, I believe, is the one that goes all around you in a circle. It does the Reeve ability yeah. type thing. It says repeatedly attacks a large area in different directions. So I am going to get Elemental Dominion with my new point that I just got. Nice. I'm going to so. level up. And I'm going to get Warrior's Blood. Yeah. That one is really useful because it gives you, like, the life type thing, which is, and a lot of that type yeah. of stuff. Ooh, there's a chest plate there. Yeah, but I have Bramblejack on. Oh, uh, yeah. So it'll be Bramble a little Jack. while before one of these are better than what I've got. Uh, a goat's horn. I'll take that. It's better than my drift would want, so. Ooh, not that one. Don't want to take it. Stick with that one. And I have iron greaves. Those leather scale boots are actually a little better. Just organizing my inventory and putting on that new goat's horn. Yeah. Organizing that type of stuff. So. Wow, that was actually pretty quick. So let's go back and go the left way this time. Yeah, finish off this area. And go over here, see if there's anything down here. Oh my god. Man, this guy just appeared out of nowhere. That scared me. So... Go all the way through here. And then finally through this archway and then we're back at the crossroads and we can go the left way this time yeah Arrows. see what we left behind since we could get some nice decent XP yeah Ooh, a chain belt that might be good for you and we left behind nothing nothing it was a dead end so if we had gone the left way, we would have ended up going the right way really quickly. Yep. Anyways, since there was only like three guys down there. Wow, that was surprisingly quick. And now the uh, episode is 17 minutes long, so I think we should uh, leave it here. All right, well. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.